and we welcome you to Seal Beach, California, everybody, for the $100,000 Miller Lite Open. We are joining Contenders Bracket Action. This is the final between Jose Loyola right there in the black headband, his partner Adam Johnson, playing Karch Karai and Kent Steffes. Early score, 3-3. Johnson Loyola got off to a very good start. They led 3-1. Karch and Kent scored two points to tie it up on a step as ace, and that's where we stand. These two teams trying to get into our championship final and play against Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. I'm Chris Marlowe. With me today, Paul Sunderland and Bill Walton. Conditions cooler and breezier than everybody expected on the hottest week of the year in Southern California. Johnson with a dig. No, and Johnson continuing his excellent play this week. And the gray weather this day, second, third day of the tournament, will certainly help Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola. They lost in the second round of the tournament and have been groveling and scratching their way back through the contender's bracket. This is their ninth match of the tournament compared to only six for Kirai and Steffes. Johnson's been getting tired a lot lately. More on that in a minute. Here's Steffes, and Steffes puts it away cross court. Kent is 27 years old, just returned to the tour after sitting out 15 weeks and 13 tournaments. Says his arm is fine. There we go. Of course, Johnson and Loyola playing together the second half of this year after Johnson split up with Randy Stoklos. And Johnson, cross court. Adam Johnson, 30 years old out of Laguna Beach with the kill. And that's proved to be a very good decision by Adam Johnson. He and Loyola have been in five finals. They've won a couple of tournaments and certainly better than the results that Stoklos and Johnson were having together. So both of them, Loyola, dropped his longtime Brazilian countryman, Anginho, to make the move as well. 4-3 is our score. Johnson and Loyola have the lead. There's a good look at A.J., 6'3", 190 pounds. And here is Karch Karai. Karch and Kent, remember last week in their first tournament back in Milwaukee, finished third. As a matter of fact, Johnson and Loyola were the team that knocked them out of the tournament as Johnson hits it into the bottom of the net and we're tied 4-4. Unforced error by Adam Johnson. You know, Loyola's been doing a good job of setting the ball. This set's perfect because Adam Johnson, a very accurate passer, and he just chops that one. Just clubbed it into the middle of the net for the unforced error. Sand timeout taken. Final day of a three-day tournament. Talking about Adam Johnson, he has had heat and exhaustion problems uh, throughout the second half of the summer. Explain. Well, he's been cramping. Had to withdraw from a tournament a couple of weeks ago and has had some problems throughout. And this past week went to an endocrinologist and by coincidence, the same doctor that helped Mike Whitmarsh overcome his heat and cramping problems. Takes 1,000 milligrams of salt before the tournament and another 500 before and after every match he plays. Has been taking intravenous bags during the course of many of the tournaments the last several weeks and trying to deal with those problems as we speak throughout the competition. But so far this week, zero bags and one step away from the finals. 4-4 four, four our score. And the reason we show you Karch Karai, Karai and Steph is well aware of the problems that Adam Johnson has had. So they have been serving him relentlessly. Kenton Karch considered the, or at least one of the best conditioned teams on the beach. In fact, a marvelous comeback by Steffes last week not to have cramped after playing nine games. So Johnson serving 4-4 four, four top, center court. Cut. Told you yesterday that everybody has the same strategy against Karch and Kent. Now they say serve the wing, serve the arm of Steffes. Well, and that's happened throughout. Earlier in the tournament against Dodd Whitmarsh in the finals of the winners, about 80% of all the serves went to Kent Steffes. That's the kind of pressure you face when you have shoulder surgery and when you play with Karch Kirak. Yeah. Right now it's a battle between Ken Steffes and Adam Johnson. A reminder that the live final between one of these two teams and Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh coming up a little bit later. So Jose Loyola to serve. He's 25 years old from a small town of Victoria near Copacabana Beach, Brazil. Steffes. How would you evaluate Steffes' play in this tournament compared to last week? Well, they haven't really been challenged, at least in the early rounds. Because of the loss of Loyola and Johnson early, they didn't have to play them in the semifinals, which would have been according to seed. So they had a real easy go of it until they met Dodd and Whitmarsh. And then they got crushed, quite frankly, 15 to 8. 
So Karch with the serving error. The key for any team on the beach, you got to control the ball, you have to side out. That's how you keep the pressure off yourself and really frustrate the opposition. And Stephenson could have been much better at passing, setting, and putting the ball away this week. 4-4 four, four score, it's off Loyola out of bounds. So Kent Stephens uh, gets another kill. And that's the matchup that the Karai and Stephens have to overcome, getting past the block of Jose Loyola. When Adam Johnson is up there blocking, he's not as big, he doesn't jump as high, not nearly the same obstacle for the hitters Karai and Stephens. 4-4 four, four tie. AJ banged it. But not there that time, so 5-4. I'm looking at four. And every serve right now, with one or two exceptions, going to Adam Johnson. Stephens and Sherrod feel that's the much better matchup for them. Make Loyola set the ball. And Johnson pumping it through. One last point on Adam Johnson and his fatigue. He's been training really hard. He's bigger. He feels he's carrying more muscle mass. And maybe that's what's hurting him. He said, hey, this week, you know what I did? I did nothing. I rested. I didn't do anything this week. And he uh, looks like uh, a young Karch Kirai jumping better this week. 5-4 the score. Oh, Karai and Stephens. And Stephens knocks it down the line. Well, Adam Johnson told us he took two IV bags. Last week, he hasn't had any this week. Kent Stephens and, Steph back, and Karch Karai leading by one here in the contenders bracket final, the match before the championship final. Five serving four. AJ. And AJ pops it through. Just the record on Johnson. He didn't come out for the final in Baltimore because he was exhausted. He stopped playing in Belmar, New Jersey in the loser's bracket. And in the Milwaukee final, he was so exhausted. Really a lackluster effort for him and his partner against Dodd and Whitmarsh. Took another IV bag right before the finals last week. And they were never really in it. Johnson and Loyola service error. We can tell you that uh, Bill Bullion and Brian Lewis finished in fourth place. Leif Hansen, Chris Young, Kevin Martin, David Swadek in fifth. So A.J. huffing and puffing, and they're serving him relentlessly. Now Loyola with one. And over. Come on. And Jose tapping. He's been hitting right over the top of Karai. Well, he's the highest jumper on the beach. And a lot of people think, well, Karai is jumping like he used to in days of old. But no matter, Loyola's the highest flyer now. And he can crank cross court. And if he wants to bring you the soft shot of the changeup, just rolls it right over the top. 5-4. Karch and Kent. Good. Come on. A nice shot inside. Good call by Karai. I really think that Loyola ought to be blocking all the time now. He matches up in terms of stature, jumping ability, blocking ability, much better with Kirai and Steffes than does Adam Johnson. And if Adam's been having some fatigue problems, don't make him put in those extra jumps, particularly when he's being served nine out of 10 balls. Trouble here, AJ, and a free ball. Block back. And Steffes puts it away. So a big play for Karchin Kent. They go up by two. We'll come back in a minute. This is the AVP on NBC. One, they led four to three, but Karchin Kent got three straight points on the bad side and now leads six to four. They're working on Johnson. There's a dig by Karch to go to seven to four. Yes. Oh, now. play. Again, keeping it on Adam Johnson. The shot off the tape slows the ball down. Kirai right there down and low makes the good dig and transitioning from the right side with a lot of heat from Kirai that time. Four points in a row now for Kirai Steffes. Serving easily to Johnson. AJ looping. Good shot. Adam Johnson, 16 career wins. Interestingly, five of those with Kent Steffes, his adversary today. Five with Stokos, three with Ricky Ludes, one with Brooke Vandeweghe, and two with his current partner, Jose Loyola. Johnson serving down by three. What? Karch. And Karch starting to get a little lift off. Well, the key is siding out. They're passing the ball better. And, and everybody talks about Kent Steffes' wing or the injured shoulder. But, you know, Kirai's getting better sets from him all the time now. And the rust is coming off. He's passing well. And Steffes is setting him better. Step is serving uh, way out of bounds. Loyola back, sir. And the side out going to Loyola and Johnson. Remember, live volleyball, the final is coming up. Mike Dodd and Mike Widmarsh defeating Karchgra and Kent Steffes in the winner's bracket and doing it relatively easily. Down the line, nice out. Oh, and Jose.
as they can't get there. Pretty good scramble play at the attempt. You see the move by Adam Johnson jumping way into the cross court. And then Loyola scrambling down the line just one step away from the good transition play. But again, if Adam Johnson is 6'5 is instead of 6'3, then maybe that becomes an easier play to make. So Johnson, and he takes a sand timeout. So a break in the action. We're going to come back to Seal Beach. Karchin can't lead by three. Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton with you at the Miller Light Open. Seal Beach, contenders bracket final. Karchin can't have scored four in a row and have a seven to four lead over a tiring Adam Johnson and his partner, Jose Loyola. Step is up high. Using both wings that time to get way over the net. Kent Steff is an underrated blocker. I think people talk about his jump serving and defense and all around good play. But again, you commit to a shot. You work together as a team that time. Steff is jumping way into Adam Johnson's cross court for the stop. Eight to four our score and five points in a row. Could be six. Karch. Not yet. Nice play by Loyola. And Loyola crunches it. Boy, they got the knuckle pokey down in Rio de Janeiro as well. Kirai and Stephas should have scored there. Could be a big play for Johnson and Loyola. Well, it certainly jacked up Loyola. He made a very nice transition play and score. Saved the play. Jose trying to get the crowd jacked as Johnson serving, trailing by four. Karch. Just to the net, and Steffes, too big, too strong. A great dig by Adam Johnson off the heater from Karch, but Loyola taking that spinning dig and unable to control it. That's the contact that's important right there. That ball was set right into the paws of Kent Steffes and Adam Johnson, not anything he can do, and Loyola knows it right there. Steffes with the serve, up 8-4. Johnson with the big whack. So Adam Johnson getting the set from Jose Loyola. They, they have had to work a, a lot to get back into this match. They beat Stoklos and Akatubi, knocked them out of the tournament. They also beat Bullion and Lewis. You know, no easy walkovers coming through the contenders bracket to get all the way back to this match. Karch. And Karch hits cross court. So much smoother than last week in Milwaukee. Passing more confident, better foot movement on the court, especially from Kent Steffes to his partner Kirai getting into better setting position and rhythm. Kirai with a four-point lead. Working on Loyola. And Loyola takes it into the bottom of the net. So perhaps uh, Loyola fatiguing a bit. Now six straight points, and it's nine to four. Back-to-back -back unforced errors. And I think a smart move by Kirai and Steph is just serving as hard as they can, mostly at Johnson, but go to Loyola. Sometimes you just get in that setting groove. Yeah. Serving as hard as you can, and Karch did. Well, Karch just trying to dial it up here. Johnson and Loyola questioning it, and Karch says, hey, it's on the board at 10-4. You know, it looked good. Well, I saw the rope move. Take another look. Hey, Karch doesn't care if it goes to Loyola or AJ at this point. They're siding out extremely well. He's hitting this as hard as he can. And Loyola looks like he's calling it out. The ball landed long, but if it hits the line on the way by. The ball hit the line. Let's go. I think that's what Marvin Hall said. There you go. Yeah. The big man said it hit the line. It hit the line. But landed out of bounds. Well, we both saw the rope move, and the line does not sit exactly in contour with the sand. You know, there are craters out there. And Sarch and Kent got a break whether they need it or not. Score now 10 to 4 as Johnson restores order. Seven unanswered points for Karai Steffes after they trail 4 to 3. So Jose Loyola, who is now living the American dream, he's got a new house in the tree section of Manhattan Beach, a beautiful American girlfriend, a four-wheel drive truck, that and makes a him doggy named Barone, and he's stationed at the net. He's four up on you. <laughs> Karch with the chop down the line. 10-4, our score, Karai and Steffes have the lead. Karai intense, as he always is, but perhaps even more intense here at Seal Beach, a tournament, once again, he has never won. Interestingly, Steffes has won. Yeah. Steffes won here in 1989. First ever, yeah. With John Stevenson. 
and everybody knew then, going back those number of years, that Steffes was going to have a great career. 1-1 one, one when he was very young. Steffes, and Steffes jukes it into the corner. 10-4, Karai Steffes up by six. If they can hang on here, which it appears they will as they are pulling away from Johnson and Loyola, they will play Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, the matchup that everybody, quite frankly, has been anticipating. Johnson blocked out of bounds. Steffes into the net. You know, this is such a reversal from last week, where Kirai and Steffes went into the loser's bracket the round before the quarters and finished third. This week, Adam Johnson and Loyola go into the contender's bracket the round before the quarters. Have to play all those extra matches. And here when you're playing, you know, last year's Kings of the Beach, you don't have enough left. Four serving ten. Trouble. And AJ's got it up. And he puts it away. So Adam Johnson got the dig, brought it back up, and the score at 10-5, Karai Steffes. So Karai Steffes, as we come back live, uh, kind of went into the prevent defense. They ran out the clock and ended up winning, going away. 13 to 7, but you saw the best action of that uh, contenders bracket final, and now the match you've been waiting for. Karai Steffes going on to play Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. We're going to come back. Sunderland will talk to Karai and Steffes, and we'll be back to the beach after these messages from your local station. Three years ago, Mike Dodd was the old man on the beach. And Mike Whitmarsh was a basketball star who melted down on the summer sand. However, last year at Seal Beach, Don and Witt were reborn. Playing beach volleyball's dominant team of Karts Garay and Kent Steffes, Whitmarsh and Dodd parlayed experience and endurance to overcome the reigning kings of the beach. With one victory, Dodd and Whitmarsh discarded their old labels and recast themselves as champions. Inside that day, Kent Steffes, volleyball's million dollar man. For five years, the wonder boy of the sport. And for five years, the partner of Karch Karai. Simply the best volleyball player ever. Indoors and out, Karai has answered every challenge the game could offer. But oddly, one title has eluded him. Seal Beach. Karch and Kent are not the favorites this week. Steffes has missed 13 weeks with shoulder surgery. But today, they get their rematch. In their fifth attempt, can Karai and Steffes finally win at Seal Beach? Or will it be Dodd and Witt once again? Y'all ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is big time volleyball. from the sands of Seal Beach, California. This is the $100,000 Miller Lite Open, and fans are checked. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Karch Karai, Kent Steffes. Hello, America. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sutherland getting ready for, ready for what should be a great championship final. I guess the question everybody wants to know, are Kent Steffes and Karch Karai playing at a level that can beat Dodd and Whitmarsh now? No. But they didn't beat him in the finals of the winners. 15 to 8, Dodd and Whitmarsh dominated, and particularly Mike Whitmarsh blocking. They got points off Steffes. They got points off Kirai. Coming into this tournament, Kirai and Steffes were undefeated against Dodd and Whitmarsh. Clearly some things have happened in the last 13 weeks. But what's happened early in this tournament is that Kirai and Steffes have really gotten some rhythm defensively and offensively. They're passing extremely well. But the X factor is Mike Whitmarsh. He has become the dominant blocker on the beach, and Kirai and Steffes are both going to have to deal with him. He's 6'7". He touches a lot of balls and gives Don Whitmarsh the best point-scoring combination in the world of beach volleyball. And there's the dean of defense. Mike Dodd is going to be all over Kent Steffes at the beginning of this match. They're going to serve Steffes every chance they get right at the beginning of this match. We'll set the tone. One game to 15 points. Dodd and Whitmarsh, the two-time defending champions here at Seal Beach. Karai and Steffes have never won this event together. Dodd with the serve, and they're attacking the wing right off the bat. Steffes. And Dodd with the dig. Whitmarsh, was he over? No! Point! If any part of the ball is on your side, you can legally 
play the ball as an attacker. Right away, they go to Whitmarsh, and there's Mike Dodd in the angle. Witt's going up. Karch is going, wait a minute, that thing's over. I want to pass that ball, but no call by either the up or down official. Steffes, and right to Dodd. Dodd guessed right, looking for point number two. No, we hit it out. It's been quite some time, Paul, that Karch and Kent have come in as an underdog in a final. Can you remember the last no. time? It has been years and years, quite frankly. Big break for Kirai and Steffes early. Kent Steff is serving, trailing one to nothing. Here comes Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh puts it away. Let's identify the players for you, at least visually. There are Dodd and Whitmarsh. Dodd is in green, black, upturned power visor. Whitmarsh behind him in blue, white hat. Taller of the two teams. Here comes Steffes. And Steffes shows some heat. Steffes wearing the blue hat. Karai in the pink hat. Talk to Mike Dodd and say, look, what do you think about Steffes? You're the one that's the catcher, so to speak, he being the pitcher. And he says, look, he's not hitting the ball hard cross court with as much heat. I can dig that. If I stop that, he'll start going line. And that's when I'll guess, I'll chase down, and I think we can get to him. Mike Dodd, a five-time winner here at Seal Beach, 86 and 88 with Tim Hovland. He won here in 82 with Pat Powers and the last couple of years with Witt. Steffes. Got to dink it high to get it over with. Karch. Got to dink it higher to get it over with. There you go. <laughs> Set it badly enough. That, so you take Whitmarsh out of the play. The ball set seven feet back. There is the X factor. There's dinking high, higher, and highest. Finally getting the ball over Whitmarsh. And that's why he changes the game. Maybe having more impact on the tour than any other player right now. One to nothing. Dodd and Whitmarsh lead it. Dodd. And down the line on an unsuspecting Karai. Normally very hot and not breezy, but today uh, gusty winds. It's a little cool. Still a great crowd on hand here at Seal Beach. Whitmarsh with the serve, leading one to nothing. Steffes. Dodd with a dig. And Karch rejects that. Second point scoring opportunity that Dodd and Whitmarsh have not capitalized on. That will give Kirok and Steffes a lot of confidence early on. They could easily be down 3-0. Kirok with the serve, working on Whitmarsh. Got it up. Parts on the right. Not yet Dodd. How many digs for Dodd already? And the put away! Boy, Dodd turns into a youngster of 27 instead of 37 when he plays here at Seal Beach. Well, he can see dollar signs, and we still have Miller Light Cup, which he and Whitmarsh, along with Kirai, are battling over $125,000 on top. It's just another dig. He's got four already. Trying to serve Kent Steffes short, move him around. Kent Steffes and Karch Kirai on the good side now. They are downwind. It's easier for them to jump serve tough into the wind and set the ball and pass the ball as well. Steffes with the serve, trailing one to nothing. guessing, moving well so far. Tough to score points. Kirai and Steffes have gotten some breaks. Karch with a good block on Dodd to keep them off the board. It's difficult to get another point on the board. Whitmarsh and Dodd leading 1-0. Oh, Steffes bombing cross court. Pretty good set by Karai. Of course, you can judge how good the pass is by whether Karai sets it with his hands or is he forced to use the bump set. Karai serving, trailing one to nothing. And he serves it hard down the middle, out of bounds. So give the ball to Mike Dodd. Mike Dodd playing three years on the USA national team, 81, 85, and 86. Never played in the Olympic Games. He told me he had given up his Olympic dream, but now he has that back with beach volleyball. Dodd off the net. And over the net. Not lucky, not good. Two previous point scoring opportunities. Dodds dug a couple cross court. Now he cheats line. I would say Steffes, lucky and good. Well, for that one. Yes. Yeah, he, they were bad, hit it out of bounds. They got stuffed. They were not good. And that one was lucky and good. Lucky on the shot, good on the dig. Kent getting every serve as he pops it through. Don and Whitmarsh are very easy servers. They rank at the bottom of the Power 8 serving list. 
way the at very the bottom. bottom. 97 and 102 respectively coming into this uh, tournament. Steffes has gotten every serve so far in this final. Doesn't really matter. Two to nothing, Donnie Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh puts it away. Mike Whitmarsh today, with his winnings, will pass Ricky Ludies to move into ninth place on the career money list. Wood has already won $161,000 this year and almost $686,000 in his career. Over him. Kent and Kent snapping the cross score. And Whitmarsh saying to Jim Leonard, that was a throw. I don't think so. No, a lot of spin on this set. Want a double contact on this overhand set from Karchakurai. Planting the seed. Maybe get a be, uh, be the beneficiary later on in this match. Good, good. Karch trailing two zip. Fly, line. He dives, dinks it down the line. I'll tell you something interesting that Mike Dodd told me. He said the difference between Kent Steffes and Scott Akatubby in terms of a partner with Karch is that Kent moves much better than Akatubi. He makes more plays, he's more athletic, he gives him more defense and more That's maneuverability. That's the one big difference he sees. Look! Hart shoots. Whitmarsh was there, and he gets the block. Three to nothing, Dodd and Whitmarsh. Similar to the finals of the winner's bracket, Karch wanting to go into his patented cross-court shot, hitting the ball away from his body. Whitmarsh certainly knows it. Getting way up and over for the stuff block and a decisive lead. 20-second sand timeout taken by Karai Steffes. We're coming back. This is the AVP on NBC. For excellence, I should say, Karch Karai in the lead, but Dodd and Whitmarsh right behind along with Akatubi. Dodd and Whitmarsh won last week. They're in the finals again this week. Karch Kirai a third. You see Scott Akatubi, Kirai's former partner, Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola. Now together, Brian Lewis down in seventh. First place worth 125000 The last couple of years has not really been a contest. Either Kirai and Steffes. Whitmarsh has been the dominating factor so far. Kirai Steffes can't get by him. It's poor. Cool. Nothing if you just join us. Whitmarsh and Dodd coming in as the favorite team against Karai Steffes. The six foot seven inch Mike Whitmarsh is doing the nasty at the net. The very nasty. Four blocks already early, touching almost everything. Down the line, trouble. Whitmarsh looking for another point and he gets it. Control block, transition, and the score. Five nothing. Dodd and Whitmarsh starting from the bad side. We're coming back after this. California, Dodd and Whitmarsh hammering Karai Steffes at the moment. A couple of moments ago, Bill Walton spoke with Karch Karai about what is going on with their team. Thanks, Karch. It's been Mike Whitmarsh's match so far. He's blocking you off the court, and he thought of moving the sets back a little bit. I uh, know. We're, uh, I think we're setting well. We're just hitting four shots. I didn't think we could play worse than this morning, and so far we are. What can you do to change that around? We've got to change our rhythm and start getting some side outs and uh, serve Dodd a little more, I think, and try and get some points. Thanks so much, Karch. Dodd and Whitmarsh getting all five points on the bad side. And Karch Karai edgy right now. His team playing horribly. This is about as bad as Karai and Steffes have ever looked. And if you're wondering what Karch means by rhythm, he means we've got to pass and set, give each other crisp calls, cross court, line, and attack the ball very aggressively to get by Whitmarsh and around Dodd. And right now, they have no rhythm. And that's mostly because of Mike Whitmarsh. Five to nothing. Although Dodd has had his share in it. But frankly, Dodd and Whitmarsh outplaying Karayan Steffes. Uh, Dodd and Whitmarsh have won six events this year, including the international qualifier in Hermosa. And they look like the team to beat, don't they? Inside Dodd. Was that on a bounce? Looked like it. No call. Steffes. And he loops it out of bounds. Did. Well, he's a pretty good golfer. Maybe that was his lofted club that he was using to get under there. Certainly a lot of sand coming up with it. Oh, he got it. His hand was in there. That was a great stab. And then you make the opposition play the ball again, and Steffes comes through with another unforced error. Well, you stop Kent Steffes in the cross court, make him loop line, and right now Dodds all over everything Kirai and Steffes have got, defensively and offensively. He goes two minutes out of that. Here we go. 
Pepes is not hitting well. It's the result of poor Karch Karai setting, but Kent normally won't tell Karch when he's setting him right. So in Milwaukee last week, Karch said to Kent, please don't wait for the end of the tournament to tell me if I'm setting you right. And Stephens immediately replied, okay, set me closer. So it can be a combination, Paul, as that ball goes off the hands of Whitmarsh. The coordination of the pass in the set, not just the Stephens hit. Well, there's no question about that. But Stephens becomes the target because he's received 13 serves and Kirai only one, so the pressure on Kirai to set the ball very, very well. Here's Mike Dodd, and Dodd cuts it inside. Dodd and Whitmarsh playing flawlessly, lead Kirai and Steffes, six to nothing. After the 15 to eight loss by Kirai and Steffes to Dodd and Whitmarsh in the finals of the winner's bracket, I talked to Kent Steffes, I said, different? What are you gonna do? He said, we're gonna serve Dodd more. Whitmarsh is just going right over the top of both of us, and we're not getting any points off it. Here's Karch. And Karch is blocked by Whitmarsh the second time. Mike Whitmarsh making a big move, and I don't think there's any doubt that this man is the best blocker in all of beach volleyball, wherever you want to go. Lined up right on Karch's pink hat and then reaching way out into the line to stuff that shot as well. Second to nothing as Steffes finally puts it away. And Steffes back to serve. Now Steffes will serve. No aces for Kirai and Steffes so far. They rely on their serving to score some points. No, we didn't hit it, baby. Dodd gets the whack. Bill, you have a Mike Dodd story. Can you tell us about it? Yes, Mike Dodd, the all-time winningest player in the history of Seal Beach Volleyball. He and his lovely and talented wife, Patty, conceived their daughter two years ago, right after the tournament victory here. So this has special meaning to Mike Dodd. Whitmarsh is there again. And it is eight to nothing. Nothing. Karch and Kent getting shut out right now. I'll tell you, you better tell uh, Mike's wife Patty to be ready because they're rolling towards another victory right now. Could be number two. <laughs> Getting ready. Kent. Dodd has the dig. Whitmarsh. And he puts it away. But Whitmarsh fell awkwardly. And he's okay. Looked like he tweaked his ankle, Paul. Off balance, I think landed heavily and then just went straight to the soft sand, but another control block right to Mike Dodd. He dishes up to Witt. That was an easy looking score. I mean, the route is at least on for now. Remember last year, it was a blowout the other way. Karai Steffes in command when Dodd and Whitmarsh made their run. Timeout called by Karai Steffes. We've talked about serving rankings, the Powerade serving list. I want to show you this list of the best servers on the ABP Tour. That's the sign for Ace. This year, the winner will get $20,000. Brian Lewis, currently in the league, in a battle with unheralded James Fellows. Adam Johnson, West Welch, Scott Akatebi. Fellows has to play more games. His partner, Marcelo Duarte, told me they've got to get five next week and five the uh, couple following weeks to qualify so fellas can get some of that money. The minimum criteria for a number of games, $80,000 overall, 20 to the best server on the beach. Dodd off him. It hasn't been all Karai and Steph is playing poorly. Dodd and Whitmarsh have played perfectly. They haven't done anything wrong and they lead it 9-zip. X-Factor, Mike Whitmarsh has got eight stuff blocks. Mike Dodd has got eight digs. They're playing fabulous eight stuff blocks. Eight stuff blocks. That will get it done. Only playing to 15, so Brian Steffes really need to go right now. They look completely demoralized. Of course, Brian Steffes winning 63 tournaments together. But they haven't won one since the head has come back. Dodd and Whitmore's trying to win their third in a row. Dodd with the serve, up 9-0. Karch, and Karch, cross courts it. Dodd and Whitmarsh, Paul, have a very interesting strategy. Whitmarsh gets up, and he goes one way as far as he can. Then Dodd behind him is a freelancer. He doesn't go left or right. He just guesses and anticipates, and he's very good at it. Well, he's the dean of defense. He does it better than I think anybody on tour and playing with the biggest and most uh, intimidating blocker as well in Whitmarsh. Karch got a block, but it's not down yet. Here comes Big Wit. Steffes stumbles in the sand. 
and cannot get it up. So the score remains 9-0. So Karai and Steffes in the throws of Murphy's Law. Dodd and Whitmarsh keeping things very simple. Don't set the ball with their hands. Just bump set the ball. Keep the court small. Just triangulate everything. And right now, no enforced errors on their part. Down the line and out of the reach of Mike Dodd. So Steffes gets the kill. And now Karch will go back and serve. Remember how easily Kirai and Steffes were siding out against a smaller blocker like an Adam Johnson in the finals of the loser's bracket. Different story altogether against 6'8 Mike Whitmarsh. So a 20-second sand timeout. 4.15 to go. It's 9 to nothing. Recently, uh, about a month ago, the Courtney Cox issue of People Magazine listed Kent Steffes as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Well, that was some list uh, for Kent to make. He's a good-looking guy. Uh, one of the uh, type of image that Pro Beach Volleyball likes to have. I, th I guess Sinjin Smith was in that one year, was he not? The I think so. Pro Beach Volleyball also made it. Right. He traded for about seven points on the scoreboard right now. Arch and Kent trailing 9-0. This should be a chance. Could be a point. Arch coming in. Crowd's going to go bananas. And they do. How about that? Look at Karai. There's a first in volleyball history. Karch Karai exulting over only being down 9-1 to one and getting the French fry on the scoreboard. All right, we're coming back. Karch and Kent have finally scored a point. Plenty of time for a comeback. 4-5 remaining. As they are down by eight points. Let's get out of Bill Walton. I'm with Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh right now. You guys are playing fantastic volleyball. How do you keep it going? Oh, we just got to keep up our intensity. We let a couple slip through our fingers there. Uh, I had an easy dig on Karch and it shanked off my arm and then I made a bad pass. This is not the team you want to give a breath of fresh air and let them get back into it because they're too good. So we got to keep our intensity up. Mike Whitmarsh, you're a king of the net right now against a, the king of the beach. What are you doing that's being so successful? I don't know, whatever it is, I hope I can keep it up. Uh, I just feel good up there blocking, and Mike's running down some shots. Hopefully we can keep it going and not let them back into the game. Continued success, but this match is far from over. Let's go back to Chris. All right, we'll take a break. Karch Karai down 9-1, going into the religious mode. Trying for the comeback. Stay with us. Marvin Hall, now the ABP's dancing back. referee, shaking it. Oh. <laughs> Let's hope Marvin never goes on vacation to the San Andreas Fault. That was about a 7.5 <laughs> on the Richter scale right there. All right, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes have just scored a point. That's after being down 9-0. Uh, yes, Dodd and Whitmarsh have dominated the former Kings of the Beach. Dodd and Whit eight stuff blocks for Whitmarsh at the net. Dodd with some defense. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton with you from Seal. If Karai and Steffes are going to make a move, they're going to do it right now. They're on the good side, an advantage in these weather conditions, downwind. Whitmarsh got another one, and Dodd's coming in for the kill, and he gets it. Whitmarsh is oblivious to good side, bad side. Last time through, in this configuration, Kirai and Steffes were shut out. How about Steffes passing the ball up on one for Karai, let him go on two. They're serving it so easy. Look at these serves. 10 to one's our score. Steffes finally gets one down off the hands of Whitmarsh. I, I just don't think that Kirai and Steffes mentally are willing to resort to what would be considered a trick play at this point. These guys are the kings of the beach last year. They won 17 out of 21 tournaments they played in together, but right now, Dodd and Whitmarsh playing on a different planet. And, line, line, line. No. and Dodd hits it out. So 10 to two, hard to remember a time when the kings of the beach or former Kings, I should say, have been uh, behind this far. I'll tell you where it was, Paul. It's just coming to my memory. After Dodd puts it away, let's see. Or if he does put it away, he does. How about Archie Kent at Manhattan Beach? Yes. A year Adam or Johnson. two ago against Adam Johnson and Brooke Vandaway down 10 to 3, roared back to win 15-10. How's that for the memory of an elephant? Well, it took you about five minutes to come <laughs> up with it. <laughs> it arrived via... Over. Come on, Mike! Dive to Whitmarsh! Poking, yes! <laughs> 11-3. 
seven to two. Magic Johnson, or I should say Penny Hardaway to Shaq right now. Let's update the game a little bit. Look at that. Dodd playing defense and just on two. Boom -dee. And a timeout called. So Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh will be back after these messages from your local stations. Seen here at Seal Beach, California, the middle wide open. Dodd and Whitmarsh crushing Karai's stuffness at the moment. 11 to 2. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton. Whitmarsh has been the controlling story at the net, and Dodd has been brilliant on defense. Karai's stuffness trying to get their act together, and they cannot. Let's get down to Bill Walton, Bill. Chris, I just talked to Karch at that timeout about your suggested strategy of hitting on on the on the pass, and Karch said no. They're trying to build a rhythm for every tournament tournaments for the rest of the summer, so I don't think they'll utilize that strategy. Okay, there it is, though, and it works. <laughs> Yeah, to heck with pride and everything else. Right now, you just want to find a way to put the ball to the sand. Down 12-2, but still plenty of time left. The question is, how are you going to score a point against Dodd and Whitmarsh? Kiran Steffes have not blocked, but they have not scored with aces. Serving hard, Dodd went and got it. It's 12-2, and Dodd puts it away. Mike Dodd. And the bad set, though, you got to take Dodd's line. He's just trying to tap line, hit the ball off the blocker. You've got to take that shot, force him to hit back into the meat of the court in the defense of Karch Kirat. Once again, the easy serve. Here comes Steffes. Come on. And Dodd with a dig. Karch against Whitmarsh. And Dodd with a dig. 12 to 2. Looking for 13. Got it. Boy, Dodd and Whitmarsh. Making the court look about the size of a postage stamp. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh now leading 13 to 2. And Ryan Steffes in deep trouble. Ryan Steffes got out to a bad start. A really bad start. 9-0 before they scored a point. Is there anything Brian Steffes can do right now? What do you do? It doesn't look like it. What I do is throw just caution to the wind. Even though you're siding out so poorly, which usually leads to conservative serving, you need four or five aces just to get some momentum, try to get your fans involved and put some pressure on Dodd with her just on cruise control right now. Let's go down to Bill Walton. Bill? Kent, you're getting hammered out here. What can you do to turn it around, and how are you feeling? Well, I feel fine, but uh, they're playing real well. To turn around, we need a couple good aces, maybe get a couple blocks, a few breaks come our way. Uh, still a lot of time left on the clock, so we can't come back if we get the break. A lot of rust in that game after the three-and-a-half-month layoff? Well, I mean, rusty all the way to the finals, so I don't know how rusty that is. Mike Whitmarsh has been controlling the net against you on your hitting. Absolutely. He's playing a great net game. It's been tough getting it by him and around him, but uh, it's all learning experience. I'll keep doing better as the game goes on and next time. Well, try to find something that works out there. Nothing's worked so far. Let's go back to Chris. All right, Bill. Ken Steffens once told me he had an answer for Mike Whitmarsh, a hitting strategy against him. I said, what is it? And he says, well, I can't tell you because you'll say it on the air and Whitmarsh will find it out. Well, apparently Whitmarsh <laughs> has his own strategy in terms of blocking Karai and Steffens, and it's working superbly today. Sometimes you're just on, you know, you're making the right move and the, the hitter's hitting right into you. Yeah, but Whitmarsh is not the same volleyball player he was a year ago. He's not the same volleyball player he was the beginning of this season. He has improved tremendously as this year's gone on. 13 to 2. Come on. Karch taps it over the top. Remember Karch and Kent played together just for the first time last week in Milwaukee after the shoulder surgery. Got a third. They've got an automatic second today. But Kent Steffes uh, said correctly, there is plenty of time. We're under three minutes, but that's time for a comeback. But it doesn't look like uh, they're going to be able to do it unless they can slow down. Don and Whitman. He can get a couple of points. Dodd is up, and he puts it away. Mike Dodd. Again. And Dodd and Witt, of course, are going to continue to play the same way, but above all, they're going to be like a baseball team in the later innings. They're going to guard against the extra base hit. They don't want to get aced right now, so watch them moving a little more towards the sidelines. They just don't want to give up quick points. Step in. Dodd with a dig, and Whitmarsh puts it away. 14-2, Dodd and Whitmarsh. One point away from their third consecutive. No wide open at Seal Beach. 
charge. Come on, down again. He's unconscious. As Stephens finally puts it away, there's a volleyball term called digging lips, and Dodd is doing it. You dig once, and you dig the guy's lip. You dig twice, you dig his lips. You dig again, you dig his face off, and Dodd is doing that. Parks going over to get a beach ball and saying, maybe, look, maybe this will work. <laughs> Dodd would probably dig that, too. And speaking of which, Dodd has got 16 digs in what has been a very short game. Just uh, about 33 minutes. As Karch sets to serve, trailing 14 to 2. Every hard jump serve by Brian Steffes has been handled by Dodd and Woodmarsh. And I think, uh, as we mentioned in the teens, Paul, that Dodd and Woodmarsh uh, awakening last year to uh, knock off Brian Steffes. But this is really the exclamation point on a dominating performance. God serving. Cut, cut, cut! Parks puts it away. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. 14 to 2. Brian Steph is trailing. Johnson and Loyal the third. Bill Bullion, Brian Lewis took fourth. Hanson and Young, Martin and Swadek in fifth. Throwhoff Ludies and Junior Hovland in seventh. And everything has been beautiful for Mike Whitmark. Talked about Mike Whitmarsh's basketball career a lot. He told me one time that uh, he played at San Diego in the West Coast Conference that John Stockton beat him out for the Conference Player of the Year by one vote. This is championship point. Whitmarsh again to Don for the title. Oh, yes. Caddy Don, get ready. Your husband has won again. Have you ever played better volleyball than you played today? I don't think so. Both Mike and I were at the top of our game today. It was weird. We were in the zone. You know about the zone playing basketball. <laughs> Both of us were definitely in the zone today. I, uh, I'm really happy we won that. And Mike Dunn, this is lovely Dallas, who you conceived here two years ago. Yeah, she, uh, she's she got a lot of Seal Beach magic in her herself. Uh, you know, Kent and Karch battled back. That was a tough final to the losers bracket. Uh, they were a little tired, and we were just fresh as a daisy, and air, all cylinders were clicking. And when that happened, you know, we had we had uh, one of our best, strongest performances ever. Mike, you've spent your whole life playing beach volleyball here. Have you ever seen Karch get beaten so badly as you guys did today and hammering him? Uh, no, and that's a very wor worrisome thought. With the big tournaments coming up at the end of the year, he is the most competitive guy out here, and he's going to be breathing smoke for the rest of August. So we're going to have to raise our level up. Kent's going to do nothing but get stronger. So. Uh, a lot of good teams out there, a lot of battling to come for the month of August. But no one playing better than you right now. Mike Whitmarsh, can we chat about your ability to improve on the beach and, and, and the level that you're playing at right now to, say, a year ago? I owe a lot of that to Mike. I mean, he, he teaches me little things during the week, and uh, I'm just starting to be a better all-around player. I'm just catching on to the game. I've only been playing six years, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm relatively new still, but I'm, I'm catching on. Mike and I are, are playing well right now, so hopefully we can carry it through the month of August. 
Thanks so much, and congratulations with young Dallas there. A tremendous victory here right now. Let's send it over to Paul Sunderman with the losers, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes. All right, thanks very much, Bill. We just heard from Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, and they said, hey, can't play much better and give them credit. But you were unable to make any adjustments. Why was it so hard getting the ball past Whitmarsh and Dodd? Well, again, they played really well, and Mike was really big at the net. Hard pack stand here, so he was jumping real high, and we had a little trouble going to buy him. Month of August is where all the dollars are made and where the titles come from, particularly with the Miller Light Cup. What changes can you make during your weeks of practice to adjust? It looks like it's you against Dodd and Whitmarsh the rest of the way. Oh, I don't think we need to make a lot of changes. We just got to play better. We ran into a buzz saw today. I think that's the worst we've ever, I've ever been beaten in a final. Probably Ken also, and we'll bounce back strong. Um, but every single play that could go their way did. I mean, even that last play, Whitmarsh hits that little shot on one over our heads. It, it, they just played a perfect game of volleyball, and we, we couldn't do anything. You, got, you, have a, you talked about getting into a good rhythm all weekend long. You seem to have had that, even though you lost to them 15-8.